Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Ava's Luxury for Less with me, Avanita. Guys, if you want to see how I created this beautiful table number sign, just stick with me to the entire bit of this video. Guys, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and like, comment and share. And if you're returning subscribers, guys, thank you so, so much for coming back to my channel. I do appreciate your support. So guys, as I said before, these are some table um, numbers that I decorated or that I DIY with stuff that I have at home. So let's just straight into it. So I went ahead on canvas and I um, created these um, signs that I wanted with the um, font and how I want them to look. And then I just trace them over um, with my um, permanent marker. I got these marker from Wilco. I'll leave a link um, in the description box below if you guys want to check them out. And also um the uh frames i got these i think i got them from primark but i have them a long time so yeah so in this project i haven't bought anything these are stuff that i have already at home so if you have a cricket you could do this and it will come out a lot better but for the moment i'm loving this trace over um idea and it's quite easy it's quite inexpensive and i think it does um the same job as the cricket would have done only because the cricket would have um, bring it out a little bit different i went ahead um, with another set of frame and my foam board and just um place it onto the uh, frame because i want to um jazz up the table sign a little bit more with some floral decor i went in with my hot glue and then just um cut down the foam board and then just attach it to the um frame I went in with some um, Wilco paint, uh, their tester pot paints, and I just went in with um, a piece of sponge and then just dab it onto the back just to make the um, wording on the front comes up a little bit more. If you guys remember um, from my We Are Engaged sign, it wasn't able to um, show properly. So if you haven't seen that video, guys, I'll leave a link with that video um, down below. I went in um, with some hot glue just to secure it into the foam board. And then I just started placing my flowers. I have no particular way in placing the flowers. As I'm sure you guys are aware, I just literally just go ahead and then just start putting them in as to how I desire. All these flowers, the small white ones, I got them from the um, Poundland range, which is in the wedding section. Um, the uh, creamish looking ones at the front. I got those from eBay. Those are from last year. I got them. These are actually recycled from my um, autumn read that I did. If you haven't seen that video as well, I'll leave a link with that video below so you can check it out. And the rest of the flowers um, or flowers that I use in my Mother's Day um, decor. Again, <laughs> I'll leave that video down below if you haven't seen it. I got these flowers from the range. So I haven't bought anything today in this video at all. So guys, my week has been very, very busy. I mean, starting today, Trevon's gone back to school. Tyrese has gone back to school. I myself will be going back to school on Thursday. So, you know, it's been a busy week. So um, let me know what you guys been doing. Um, you know, I know a lot of people started college already or school already, but let, let me know what you've been doing up um, since you come back after the Easter break. So I went in with some plates, some cutleries and glass and stuff and that. And I got these... Um, four vase they're not vase they're like um pint glasses and i just got them from uh some 99 yeah so i got four and they were only a pound each again i didn't buy these today these are actually i think from last year i have these so i haven't bought anything so i just went in with the um sign that i've made and just jazz it up a little bit with some candles that i got from primark again i haven't bought anything these are candles that i already have here at home but i just went in with um some stuff and some of these roses again from the range that i got um and some of the um, eucalyptus flowers and then just try to um create just a little bit of a centerpiece just to put in between um the uh the glasses and the uh, signs i fill my glasses with water and i'm just going to put some candles in it now you don't necessarily have to buy the floating candles you can just pull these out of the uh, little burner and just put them on just to make sure that um you'll never leave it unattended I, I mean it is in water so nothing's gonna happen but just try to be 
nearby or just don't leave it and just go away yeah <laughs> so i just went ahead and light the rest of my candles and yeah i'm actually loving the uh, results just look at what the end result end result looks like Guys, if you like this uh, table decor and also the table sign, please give me a thumbs up. Please leave a comment, any suggestion, likes or share or any, um, as I said, any suggestion that you have on creating any um, wedding um, centerpiece or wedding ideas, anything that has to do with wedding. Just let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if you think the colors are working. I mean, just give me some ideas on what you think, guys. Here is a better shot of the table sign. I would say to allow the paint to dry or you can give it two or three coats. As you can see, you can see through a little bit of mine here. So I would suggest you give it at least two or three coats. I only gave mine three, so I would say, sorry, I only gave mine two. So I would say give it um, three or four coats. Yeah, I would suggest that. So guys, please follow me on my social media. All the links are down below in the description box. Uh, also, I'm open for a collaboration. If you want to collaborate with me, just reach out to me on Instagram or also on my email, um, which is linked down below. Please check out my playlist below, guys. Please check out my playlist. Guys, thank you so much for checking out my video with me. It's been an absolute pleasure to do this. I mean... It's so, so amazing to do this. So I'm really, really happy um, with the result that I've gained. It looks amazing with just simple things that I have at home. So guys, as I said before, let me know if there's any suggestion, any comments, any new ideas or any colors or any ideas that you have that you want to um, give to me in terms of this wedding decor. Please let me know in the comment section below. Guys, thank you so much and I'll see you again on Saturday. Thank you. Bye bye.